Hello everyone. So today we will study about the differential amplifier. So our topic is differential amplifier. So now the first thing is like why do we need the differential amplifier, right? Asi kya jorut padi that we need the differential amplifier. So first generate a DC signal. Okay. Let's generate a DC signal from AC signal. Okay. This is the basic thing. We have already studied in diode circuit how to generate a DC signal from AC signal. This is your AC signal, right? Okay. This is your AC signal. This is going to a peak detector. Okay. Input is fed, and this is the output you are getting. And here there is a load connected as well. Right? So now you can draw the output waveform. So this will be your output waveform. First it will copy, then it goes down, then it goes up, goes down like this. Right? I should make it more properly like this right this is the basic stuff that everyone knows so basically your output is VDC plus a small signal uh -huh. I should write VM sin omega t like this is not the complete dc value right this is not completely dc here there is some small signal involved we can't really generate a complete dc output there is always a small signal uh, uh, there is always a small signal present so this will be a small signal right small signal right so now this value only these kind of dc voltage only are fed to our amplifiers we have some dc voltage but that dc volt uh, voltage has some noise this is small signal this works as a noise only so this is not completely dc now it is fed to your amplifiers because before by uh, before using it as an amplifier we have to bias it right so for biasing we give this voltage give this dc voltage so if we are giving this dc voltage so now we will use this dc voltage to bias our amplifier so this this is the supply this supply here and this is the input voltage we are giving v in plus some vdd it can be lesser than vdd or anything else okay and it will surely be lesser than vdd we will write vdc this is what dc bias this is what noise this is small signal input this is also noise you want to amplify this input right you want to amplify vi but there is this small signal present as well this is small signal right because this ripple is very small this ripple is very small that's why it is small signal so if we talk about small signal input voltage small signal vi is small signal input voltage is vi plus v vm so there are two small signal voltage present right now onwards i am writing it as a small v afterward i will write it as capital v only okay it i should write it as small v only but uh, um, in the next lecture i i have the habit of writing is capital v only okay but this is a small signal you should know it. okay so this is the small signal right so now you can write the output what will be the output output would be minus gmrd into v in 
or if there is R not present, you can write minus GM RD parallel with R not into VI minus GM RD parallel with R not into small VM plus there is this small signal present as well, right? This is the small signal present as well. We have seen the uh, gain because of this. We have seen the gain. We have seen the output because of this. Now we will see the output because of this. So what will be the output because of this? The, uh, we can short circuit this because we, can, we are sim simply implying superposition theorem. For first V in, we wrote this. For VM, we wrote this. Now we are applying superposition. This is DC bias. So this will be shorted. This will also be shorted. This will also be shorted. So this complete most will be replaced by R not only, right? This complete value will be shorted. So VGS is gone. GM VGS is gone. So it will be replaced by R not only. So basically it will be R not upon R not plus RD into small vm, right? So I guess I can write it here. what i can do now these values the this value and this value both are what both are noise this is our desired output so to eradicate the noise part we need differential amplifier okay so now what will differential amplifier do it will er eradicate the noise part now how it will do that that we will see okay so first what we, did we see that the dc bias voltage that we have that's not completely DC bias voltage. It has a small signal noise voltage as well. If the small signal noise voltage is applied here, that affects the output as well. So the small signal voice is no, no, amplified and you can see that there is output noise, right? Output noise present. And this output noise, noise is not desirable. So to eradicate this noise, we use differential amplifier. So how it will uh, reduce that, that we will see in next video, okay? Hello everyone. So in the previous lecture, we saw that we need differential amplifiers to eradicate the effect of noise that is present because of the DC bias. Now we will see how it eradicates it. But before that, we need to know a basic definition. What is differential signal? Okay. This is the basic definition that, need, that you need to know. What is differential signal? So I have already written the uh, definition. Two signals. Differential signal is uh, defined for two signals. Same in amplitude has same DC level and 180 degree phase difference. So if basically v1 and v2 are differential signals okay 
and here you can see that v1 is minus v2 okay so basically if this re relation is followed then only we will call them differential map. same dc level same amplitude but 180 degree phase difference 180 degree phase, phase difference should be there so these are called differential signals now the thing is how we can generate this differential signal so a simple circuitry we need to see how to generate those differential signal because we will need them in the amplifier okay like uh, this is your input signal v in okay now this needs to be amplified with this gain gmrd parallel with r naught v in should be amplified with this gain but this factor should not be there this complete factor should not be there gmrd parallel with r naught into vm and this complete factor should not be there so we need to make some circuit by that we can we can amplify this signal with this gain okay and there is no noise present so first we need to generate a differential signal we have v in by 2 with us we have v in with us we can make v in by 2 by that right uh, by simple potential divider we can do that r r potential divider we have v in with us we can get v in by 2 now we have to make minus v in by 2 so this is the circuit we will use this is v in by 2 here we have now just do the small signal analysis let us call this one as v in 1 and this one as v in not v in i shouldn't call So now we will call it v not 1 and v not 2 okay and let us assume lambda is equals to 0 okay so if this is the dc bias no no need of that so just analyze this circuit the left one okay left one only so this vb will be shorted this completely will be shorted the, this complete will be shorted this will be open ended so v not 1 will will be equals to vi by 2 only did you get it this will be open ended if this is open ended no current flowing through it so this voltage will come here only v not 1 will be will be equals to vi by 2 only now talking about this all the amplifiers are matched if this is m this is also m okay talking about v not 2 v not 2 for v not 2 what will happen this is shorter this is shorter from here what we, you will see Just a minute. V not one came out to be V in by two only because this is open ended, so this comes here. Talking about V not two, V not two. Now you see from here what you will see one by GM resistance, right? One by GM. So this is a common source amplifier with load of 1 by gm what will be the gain minus 1 right so this will be minus v by 2 you can see here this is a common source amplifier here we have v in by 2 right and here we have 1 by gm and here we need to find the gain so it will be gm into 1 by gm minus sign so it would be minus v in by 2 right so these are the differential signal we have made these will be the input of differential amplifiers okay now if uh, we can take let R node exists and in this DC bias we have a small signal noise as well small signal noise as well in the DC bias we have a small signal noise as well now if this R not exists so what will be the gain here from here to here we are doing the DC analysis again so basically what is your v not 1 noise v not 1 noise what will be v not 1 noise because of this vm 
So this completely will be shorted. This will be replaced by R not only, right? This is also shorted, and from here we are applying the voltage. So what will be the gain? Actually, we don't need to know that exact formula. You can derive it what whatever the gain will be. Okay, you can derive. It. So we don't need to know the formula. We just know that there will be some noise component. Some noise component of let us call it alpha Vm. Some noise component will be there, and similarly here as well. V not two noise. It will also be there. If let us see if we can derive. No, you can write the formula. Right? It will also be there. Alpha Vm. So both of the output V not one and V not two will have a noise component, and that will go to the differential signal input. Okay? Both of the outputs are having some noise, noise signal that is going to the differential voltage okay or by simply biasing if we simply bias it whenever we do the dc analysis this vdd will be here and we will bias the vgs voltage here right that's how we make the amplifiers right this is even if we talk about the common source amplifier this is not the complete configuration we will bias it here by the potential divider register divider we will bias it by using this say by using this vdd only so we will bias it right so because of that that biasing there will be some noise present there will surely be some noise present there okay so this is a simple differential amplifier configuration that we will study in noise in the next video here what we learn we learn to first we learn what is differential signal and then we learn how to generate the differential signal and when you are generating the differential signal there is some noise present as well okay the magnitude is same for both now we are applying our dc voltage here okay this is the input to differential amplifier. We are applying the small signal voltage and the noise. This is our small signal input. This is our noise. This is our noise. Now we will see the output voltage and see if there is a noise component present or not. So that's how the differential amplifiers eradicates the noise so we will see it in next video okay hello everyone now we will see the analysis of a simple differential amplifier okay so we have to calculate the v out value v out value you need to calculate so let's see so let us call this uh, this one as vi1 so what will be the current here gm vi1 right and what will be the current here gm v i2 so what will be your v out v out will be minus gm rd v i2 right here the gain will be minus gm rd v i2 plus gm rd v i1 differential gain we are talking about v naught is this voltage minus gm rd into vi by vi2 minus this voltage this is also negative so i can first time we are writing so i should write it like this only minus minus of gm rd vi2 so basically it is coming out to be gm rd vi1 minus vi2 what is vi1 minus vi2 gm rd what is vi1 minus vi2 this minus this it is v in only so this is your v out so basically what is your v out coming so here your v out is gm rd into v in so this is your output right so basically what happened here is that this v in got amplified with a gain a this v in one got amplified with a gain a generated a v not one that is minus gm rd into v in one this also got amplified minus gm rd into v in two and you collected the output like this v not that is gm rd v in will you get it you collected the differential output v in 2 
So this is what is happening here. So no noise component present. Right? So that's that's how we have eradicated the effect of noise. There is no noise component present here. We know this GMID into V. So this noise component is already nullified. So this is how differential amplifier uh, differential amplifiers amplifies the signal and eradicates the noise because it is uh, because on the both of the input we have the same noise present. So if you, on the both of the input we have the same noise present. Both of the uh, both of the noise both of the noise signal will be amplified by the same amount. If they are amplified by the same amount, they will be subtracted because we are collecting the differential output. Did you get it? Yeah. So this is what is happening here. Okay. So now we will see some common terms in the next video. We will see those common terms. This is very, very important. Okay. Hello everyone. So now we will see some common terms. So first thing is what is differential input? Differential input. So our differential input is VI. What is our differential input? That is VI. So how will you get VI here? VI1 minus VI2. That will give you VI, right? So differential input is always VI. You don't need to mug it up. No need to remember it or anything like that. You will learn it. You will learn how to solve problem. You will learn what the interviewer will ask you. Okay. So no need to mug it up. What is differential input or anything like that? Okay. I will tell you how to solve the problems and everything. Just see it now. What is your differential output? The output that is generated because of the differential inputs. The output that, that is generated because of the differential inputs. That is your differential output. So that would simply be your. How should I write it? This is your V not one. This is your V not two. I can write some things here. Like what is V not one? Sorry, this is V not two. This is V not one. What is V not one minus G M R D V in one? Or I can write minus G M R D V in by two plus V C M. What is V not two? minus gm rd minus v in by 2 this bracket will be there i should write it more properly that is equals to minus gm rd V in by 2 minus GMRT VM. And what is your V naught 2? V naught 2 is GMRD V in by 2 minus GMRD VCM. Right? You, you, you got it, right? Here we wrote, wrote it. What is V naught? Minus GMRD into V into what is V into V into is minus VI by 2 plus VCM. So if you put here minus VI by 2 plus VCM, you will get this. Right? You will get this. So this is your V01 and this is your V02. So this is your V01 and this is your V02. Let's skip this. So what is your differential output? What is differential output? That is GMRD into V. Differential output is GMRD into V. So how will you get that? V not one minus V not right? So that it. So that 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 is GMRD into V. V not one minus V not two. This. So in the differential output, basically there is no component of noise. Okay. What is common mode input? Your common mode input is VCM. This is your common mode input. What is common mode input? VC. How, how will you get that? V in 1 plus V in 2. I am simply telling you the way to remember. Okay, nothing else. How you should remember it? What is common mode input? 
v in 1 plus v in 2 by 2. So it would be Vcm. What is your common mode output? The common mode output is this GMRT, GMRD into uh, sorry. Yeah, your common mode output is this minus GMRD into VCM. So how will you get that? V01 plus V02 by 2. Right? Common mode output V01 plus V02 by 2. Right? Now there is a term called common mode differential output. Look, uh, here you will be surprised like what I am what I am really doing. So I will tell you what is the significance of this. Okay, don't be in the in these two terms you will be surprised. You will say that here you are collecting the differential output. So why these terms are important? Why are you adding the input and dividing it by two? Why is that important? You will ask you you may think about it, right? So we are getting the differential output. So we are subtracting the noise, right? Here we are subtracting the noise. So why are we calculating this common mode input and common mode output voltage? What is the significance of that? We will see that. Okay. Why it is necessary to calculate. Okay. So there is this term called differential mode, a common mode differential output. So what does this mean? This means that we have applied common mode voltage. Okay. Common voltage. VCM here and VCM here. VCM here and VCM here. We will get two output V02, V01. We have applied VCM here, VCM here. We will get two output V01, V02. And we will subtract them. So in the previous problem, what did we get there? We applied only VCM, we got this output. If we applied only the VCM at this terminal, we got this output and subtracted them uh, and we subtracted them. What, what did we get? Zero. Right? So this is what common mode differential output is. V02 common mode output, V01 common mode output. Okay? V02 common mode minus V02, V01 common mode. Now what is differential gain? Differential gain. What will be differential gain? Differential output upon differential input. So here your differential gain is GMRD. So if in the problem they ask you to calculate differential gain. If they have written, if they have made a differential amplifier and they have written that just uh, just make a, just write the gain of the circuit. That means they are asking you differential gain. So what you will, what you will do? Put v i1 equals to v in by 2 and v i2 equals to minus v in by 2 okay calculate v note then your ad i should go ad would be v note by v yeah, what, what we need to do v in 1 vi by 2 v in 2 minus vi by 2 calculate v naught okay simply divide that v naught value by v in this is what we did here just forget about vcm forget about vcm applied v v in by 2 here minus gmrd v in by 2 applied minus v in by 2 here gmrd v in by 2 calculate v naught v naught 2 minus calculate v naught v naught 2 minus v naught 1 it would be gmrd v in right Calculate V0, V0 2 minus V V in. Both will be added, so it would be GMRD into V in. So what will be your V0? V0 would be GMRD into V in. Now simply divided by V in. What will you get? GMRD. So this is the differential gain you have. Differential output, GMRD V in, differential input V in. So that, that's what we did here. So this is how you need to calculate. Okay. And if they ask you to calculate common mode gain, what you will do? Put V in 1 equals to vcm v in 2 equals to vcm calculate v not 1 and v not 2 okay calculate both v not 1 and v not 2 now what will be your ad ad will be v not 1 plus V02 by 2 average of the, both of the output upon VCM okay not AD it will be AC what will be your common mode output average of the, both of the output we applied VCM here VCM here we got two output took the take the average of both of them and just divide it by with VCM 
okay so basically in this i will make after this i will explain and what is common mode differential gain okay so what is common mode differential gain we have calculated same thing we, we need to do v in by put v in 1 equals to vcm v in 2 equals to vcm calculate v not 1 and v not 2 and then this so i can write put v in 1 equals to vcm v in 2 equals to vcm and then this okay so what is really happening here is that let me tell you so for differential gain what we are doing is this is the amplifier you have okay we are applying v in by 2 here minus v in by 2 here we are getting v note 1 here v note 2 here and this is our v output okay when talking about the common mode gain what we are doing we are applying vcm here we are applying vcm here we are getting some v note 1 here we are getting some v note 2 here now the average of both of them is your output this is your v output v note 1 plus v note 2 by 2 and what is your input average of both of them here what is your input the difference between both of them what is your input here your input will be this will be your v in right this will be your v in and what is your input here v in would be v c m basically the average of both of them okay this will be your v c m this will be your input and for the third case again the input is same right vcm here vcm here this is your input that is vcm only but here you have some output v not 1 and v not 2 again this is your output now this v not 1 and v not 2 are difference right v not 2 cm we should write v not 1 cm we should write and here v not 2 differential we should write v not 1 differential we should write okay here we should write cm and here we should write cm and did you get the point here differential signal applied differential output common mode signal applied average of output common mode signal applied difference of output okay this is the difference between the noise okay now this is the uh, this is the average of the noise output now when we are doing the calculation here we are seeing that we are we are getting double ended output and we are subtracting those okay when it comes to noise we are subtracting the noise so what is the need of these two factors what is the need of these two factors common mode input voltage and common mode output voltage what is the need of these two when we are only subtracting only what is the need of these two okay so let us assume what we are doing is that here we have these two not right v not 1 and v not 2 okay this is the differential amplifier we have we have v not 1 here v not 2 here we are taking this v not 1 and v not 2 and giving to the input of next differential amplifier the differential amplifier we have v in 1 v in 2 is our input v not 1 and v not 2 is our output we are taking these two terminals like this these two terminals and now we are taking it to the input of differential amplifier okay input of the next differential amplifier so basically we are cascading differential amplifiers now okay cascading differential amplifiers So, so after first amplifier it is amplified with the gain a 
so it would be a into vcm a into vcm like here it was amplified with minus gmrdn right this was amplified with minus gmrdn so let us assume after first amplifier it is amplified with a a gain after that it is amplified with bn so it would be ab into vcm ab into vcm after that it is amplified with c gain so it would be abc into vcm abc into vcm so basically what we are doing here is that we are not collecting the differential output okay we are not collecting we are really not collecting the differential output we are taking two ended output and giving it to the next amplifier on the first stage only we didn't calculate the differential output okay in the first stage only we didn't calculate it we took the output and gave it to the next then we again took the output gave it to the next again took the output giving it to the next so here what you see is that your common mode gain is the noise is getting amplified amplified and amplified so while cascading we see that noise is continuously getting amplified in successive stages which can even dominate the input voltage of any stage so let us assume initially your vcm is greater than vi initially your vcm is greater than vi so now it is getting amplified 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 so it is getting greater than input voltage very much greater than input voltage so if the, it is so noise is getting very much larger right although in the final stage we can calculate the differential output if we calculate the differential output the noise will be gone again in the final stage it will be gone but in the successive stage, stages it may generate it may create problem because the common mode noise, noise is high are you getting my point finally we can calculate the differential voltage okay finally we will calculate the differential output so the noise will be gone if we take the difference here both are same noise will be gone right but in the successive st stages let us assume we are talking about this stage so here we will see that the noise is very much high so your output at this stage will be very much dis distorted so we see so the a into vcm should be as low as possible so the common mode gain should be as low as possible so this is the importance here okay so we will see more problems now now what we are seeing we will see the difference of differential ground so sorry we will see the concept of differential ground then we will move to further analysis okay so now we will see the concept of differential ground so many people confuse confuse it with the ac ground okay those who have already studied the topic we may call it ac ground okay we can say that it is acting as a ac ground it is acting as a ac ground but it is not actually the ac ground okay why is it so there is a simple register the simple configuration you need to find the value of v what is the value of v v is zero volt here what is the value of v let us assume this is a network this is a network and this is v this is providing z impedance this is providing z impedance apply superposition here if we apply only in this one if we apply superposition here this will be delta v by 2 here it will be minus delta v by 2 so what is v delta v by 2 minus delta v by 2 0 i can write it in this manner v equals to delta v by 2 minus delta v by 2 it will be 0 volt here also this will provide z impedance this will provide z impedance so it will be 0 volt as well okay you can calculate it let us assume this one as z impedance this one as z impedance just calculate it you will get 0 so whenever there is symmetry 
uh, I don't think I have a statement to write here. So you can get it right. So what I can see here is that if there is delta v increase here, there is some network here. Okay, some network here. Here, if I am if I am increasing the voltage by delta v, and here if I am increasing the voltage by delta v, I can see a symmetry here. So this node can act as a ground. We should make it with the different fan. So if there is symmetric involved, this node can act as a ground. The condition is that if this node is getting high by delta v, this node should go down by delta v. The differential signal will be there. Okay. So this is the important point to note. Okay. Now we will see a problem. So for the given configuration, this is the given configuration you have. You need to calculate differential gain, common mode gain, and common mode differential gain. Three things you need to calculate. We have already seen the definitions. What is differential gain? What is common mode gain? And what is common mode differential gain? No need to mug it, mug it up. Nothing. Just remember it. When you are calculating differential gain, what you will do? At one input you applied v in, uh, v in by two. At the second input you applied minus v in by two. Calculate v naught. Your AD will be v naught by v. For common mode gain, VCM, VCM. Calculate v naught one, v naught two. Take the average. Okay. Sim simply divide it with the VCM. For differential output, calculate v naught one, v naught two. Okay. Take the average of input and the subtraction of output. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. So this is the first problem. I guess I need to copy the diagram. So they have not mentioned anything, but they are talking about the small signal gain only. Okay. This is the first circuit, and this is differential gain we are calculating right so differential gain so here we are applying v in by 2 and here we are applying minus v in by 2 this will go to ac ground right because this is a battery this was a battery so it will be shorted right so this is grounded right now what will happen this will also be grounded right so this is also grounded okay now what you see here is that this transistor from here it will it will be replaced by one upon zm right from upper side from here to ground, what, what is the resistance that you can see? 1 upon Zm, right? So, this complete compilation will be replaced by a resistance 1 upon Gm. This is M2. Okay. 1 upon Gm2. Parallel with R02, you can say. And this will also be replaced by. 1 upon gm2 parallel with r02 because both are same from here you can see 1 upon gm parallel with r02 right so this will also be replaced with the same this is grounded here we are calculating v0 on minus v02 right One upon GM two parallel with R node two. Okay. Now, what is the current flowing here? What is the current flowing here? It is GM V I by two. And what is the current flowing in upward direction? It is GM V I by two. Did you get it? Here in the downward direction we have minus gm vi by 2. So in the upward direction we have gm vi by 2. So if we call this one as v naught 2 and this one as v naught 1, so v naught 2 would be 
not minus it would be plus only right yeah plus only so v not 2 would be this em gm1 this is gm1 gm1 into this resistance 1 upon gm2 r not 2 into vi by 2 and what is v not 1 your v not 1 would be this is rounded so it will be minus minus gm1 to 1 upon gm2 r not 2 vi by 2 so what is your v not v not 2 minus v not 1 so it would be gm1 1 upon gm2 parallel with r not 2 into vi what is your differential gain gain v naught by v in that would be gm1 into 1 upon gm2 parallel with r naught 2 so this is the gain we have okay this was a simple problem right applied voltage got output subtracted that's it okay now the same analysis we are going to do for common mode gain okay the same analysis for v in one we will apply vcm and v in two we will apply vcm so i guess i can copy this circuit only Changes we are going to make is this one should be removed here. This one should be removed. This one should be removed. The resistance, resistance and everything all are same, right? Here we are applying VCM. Here also we are applying VCM. Here we have GM VCM current, and here we have GM VCM current, right? what is v not 2 v not 2 is gm1 actually v not 2 is minus gm1 1 upon gm2 parallel with r not 2 into vcm2 not vcm2 what is vcm2 vcm right and what is v not 1 that is minus gm1 1 upon gm2 parallel with r not 2 into vcm what is your v out common mode here also i should write common mode here also i should write common mode here i should write differential here i should write differential 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 output okay differential output on differential input this is the gain okay so here common mode gain what will be the common mode gain v not 1 cm plus v not 2 cm by that would be v not cm would be same minus 1 upon gm1 1 upon gm2 parallel with r not 2 into vcm so your common mode gain acm would be v not cm upon vicm what is vicm v in 1 plus v in 2 by 2 right what is your VICM? V in 1 plus V in 2 by 2. That is VCM only. So just divide it with VCM. You will get minus GM1 parallel with the 1 upon GM2 parallel with R0 2. 
this is the common mode D right so if this was this was the first problem so this I can write as first this is a second now we are calculating common mode differential again so what will be the common mode differential again tell me common mode differential gain what will be the value zero right so, so v note common mode differential output that would be v note 2 cm v note 2 cm minus v note 1 cm that is zero so here only i can write common so common mode differential output by what i noted it a cm dm a cm dm is zero only so this is what we have here zero only so that's it right so for the first problem you have calculated all these parameters so this is what the interviewer can ask you okay these questions they can ask you okay so here we have one thing you notice is that here we have vs right here we have voltage source now the same complete same circuit complete same circuit you have to calculate the same parameters but here we have iss okay so we will start the problem we will copy this circuit copy this circuit here now what will happen this iss will be open circuited right this is open circuited now you don't know the potential of this this terminal right first you are calculating differential gain now you don't know the potential of this terminal it will be v in by 2 and it will be minus v in by 2 these terminals will be replaced this will be replaced with the, with the resistance that is 1 upon gm2 parallel with r02 this will also be replaced with the resistance It will be 1 upon gm2 parallel with r02 okay so now you don't know the you don't know resistance here sorry you know don't know the value of voltage here let us assume this is vs what we we can tell is that if there is this current i1 and there is this current i2 you can say i1 is equals to minus i2 first you are calculating differential again here you can say that i1 is equals to minus i2 right or not because this is an open node so this current will flow here only so i1 is equals to minus i2 that you can say right so what you can write gm vgs vgs is v in by 2 minus vs is equals to gm1 is equals to minus of gm1 vgs minus v in by 2 minus vs minus v in by 2 minus vs i1 is equals to minus i2 i1 is gm1 v in by 2 minus vs equals to i2 is r0 we are neglecting okay here r0 we are neglecting it will it will make the problem complex nothing else okay and for this i2 it is minus gm1 v in by 2 minus vs so from here what you can see here is that if you solve this equation what you will get your vs is equals to zero okay because here you can see if vs is equals to zero gm1 vi by 2 is equals to gm1 vi by 2 
So your V is equal to zero. So acting as AC ground for differential signals. For differential signals. So it is acting as a AC ground for differential signals. Okay. So the modified circuit you can draw. I guess this I can copy. I hope I will be able to copy. Or next page I can copy. So this circuit is drawn something like this now. And this will be AC ground, right? If this is AC ground, let the, these one go. So this current would be GM1 VI by 2, and this current would be GM1 VI by what is your V naught to differential output? That would be GM1 1 upon GM2 parallel with R naught 2. I guess I should don't need to explain it again and again because this is the same as before, right? The same circuit is done now. This is the same circuit with the same analysis that we go. I guess I can copy it only. I will try to copy it on. Yeah, great. Right, so V in by 2, it would be V. So your differential gain will be AD. It is GM1 1 upon GM2 parallel with R0. So this is your differential gain. And this is your differential gain. Okay. Now this was not uh, the bigger task. The bigger task is yet to come. That will be not the bigger task, like the what will be the different here that is yet to come. That will be your common mode game. Okay, now we will see common mode game. So, now talking about common mode game. Okay, so I, I put my microphone here, I don't know. How the sound came for the last 20 minutes or 25 minutes? I don't really know. I will check it. So let's see the common mode again now. So this will be open circuited, right? Here this will be open circuited, and instead of these values, instead of V in by 2 minus V in by 2, we will have VCM. This is VCM. This is also VCM. Again, the same concept. If this is I1 and this is I2, both will be equal and opposite. Right? So, GM V in 1. What is V in 1? VCM. GM VGS. Eh? Let us call this one as VGS. So, GM. So, GM 
VCM minus VS GM VGS right GM1 we can say is equals to GM2 minus sign GM2 VCM minus VS why GM2 it will be GM1 only so GM1 VCM minus VS equals to minus GM1 VCM minus VS so GM1 VCM minus GM1 VS is equals to minus GM1 VCM plus GM1 VS 2 GM1 VCM equals to 2 GM1 VS what are you getting VCM is equals to VS so did you see that now just copy this on the next page now basically this potential this potential is going to vcm only right so here i1 is 0 i2 is 0 so talking about your v01 common mode 0 v02 common mode 0 so basically your v0 so your common mode gain is zero note what is the note here when we use it when we use it, current source as a tail rather than voltage source as a tail we notice that over common mode voltage gain is zero right when we are using voltage source what happened here okay when we are using voltage source our common mode gain was for voltage source yeah, our common mode gain was this this value minus gm1 upon gm2 approximately but when we are using current source as a tail our common mode is current source as a tail our common mode is common mode voltage gain is zero so what so what what is uh, what will be preferred as a tail current source or voltage source current source right because current source is current source is giving you zero voltage gain so zero, 0 common mode voltage gain and we always want common mode voltage gain to be as low as possible so here i can write so we want common common mode gain as low as possible okay so we want common mode gain as low as possible so this is the benefit here and the thing last thing we needed to calculate was common mode differential gain that will be zero only common 
more differential gain what will be the value zero right what is v not one cm the same analysis right this is this vs will be replaced by vcm so common mode v not one v not two both are zero so common mode gain is zero here we actually took the average here we took the average but zero zero average zero and zero minus zero zero v not one zero v not two cm is zero so your v not common mode differential output is zero so what will be your gain a cm dm that would be zero only right that would be zero only and here also i can include one more step before this one is that your v naught common mode that is v naught one common mode plus v naught two common mode by two that is equals to zero that means your a common mode is zero okay so this is the thing here okay the common mode differential gain common mode differential gain for this configuration and the previous configuration for both of them it was equal zero and here in this voltage bias configuration the differential gain, gain was this and in the next configuration as well the differential gain was this only so the, the differential gain and common mode gain was same but uh, there was a big change in big change in common mode gain okay in the previous uh, analysis in the previous uh, case when there was voltage source we were getting some common mode gain but here we are getting common mode gain to be zero so this is the this is one of the advantage of using current source current source as a tail this is one of the advantage there are more advantage when there is a mismatch we will see that okay so this is one of the advantage so you got it so to have the less common mode voltage gain okay we use current source as a tail okay now in the further video we will see uh, we will see the same parameters but there is a mismatch now this m1 and m2 are different now both have different gm now so now we will see how using tail is more beneficial okay so let's move on to the next video thank you hello everyone so in this video we have to calculate those same parameters okay but now there is a mismatch this m1 and m2 are both are different okay the same parameters that we calculated in the previous video uh, in the previous analysis that that only we need to calculate first thing was l differential gain okay so now i can directly write the thing so i need to make the separate circuit once again i guess i can make the separate circuit okay now we are calculating differential gain i will make the circuit here so for differential gain exactly the same analysis will be there this will be grounded this is actually v in so here i made the resistance this time because that both of the most were getting replaced by resistance only so to make the problem easier i made the resistance here this time okay and we are calculating the output so output will be calculated calculated like this okay so this is this will be replaced by v in by 2 and this will be replaced by minus v in by 2 so now i can directly write the output v out differential that would be gm2 or i can write it completely for one last time i am writing it completely v note 2 differential is 
here we have gm vm so it would be gm2 rd vi by 2 right because if we have we have gm vi current and v not 1 d would be gm1 rd vi by 2 but minus sign right because the current direction is this your v output would be v output differential that would be gm1 plus gm2 by 2 into rd into v right v not 2 minus v v not 1 so basically your common mode gain is now a d is gm1 plus gm2 by 2 into rd this is your common mode gain okay here we are using voltage source as a tail right voltage source as a tail so this is grounded right now talking about common mode so common mode again we have we will calculate now common mode gain so for common mode gain we can use the same circuit right we can use this same circuit but the thing to notice here will be this will be replaced with vcm this will be replaced with vcm vcm so your v node 2 would be minus gm rd into vcm gm2 rd vcm and your v node 1 would be minus gm1 rd into vcm this is common mode output this is common mode output v node common mode is v node cm minus v node 1 cm that would be gm1 minus gm2 into rd into vcm this is v node cm so what is your common mode gain now common what did i do here this is not you are supposed to calculate i'm just i just took the difference this is common mode differential output we are calculating common mode gain that would be v naught common mode would be v naught 2 plus v naught 1 by 2 right so it will be minus gm2 plus gm1 by 2 into rd vcm this is your v0 cm so what is your common mode gain ad no, sorry acm that is minus gm1 because v0 cm by vcm is this gain so gm1 plus gm2 by 2 into rd so this is the common mode gain you have right or when there is a current as when there is current as a tail that analysis also we will see and for differential gain common mode differential gain v not 2 v not 1 we can write v not 2 cm is minus gm 2 rd vcm 
V01 CM is minus GM1 RD VCM. GM1 RD VCM. What is your V0 common mode differential gain? V0 2 CM minus V0 1 CM. That would be GM1 minus GM2 RD VCM. Right? V0 CM DM. So here first time you are getting your common mode differential output to be non-zero gm1 minus gm2 into rd right did you get it v02 minus gm2 rd to vcm v01 cm minus gm1 rd into vcm so you can calculate v0 v0 common mode differential output so that is gm1 minus gm2 rd into vcm so here you are getting common mode differential gain equals to non zero okay this is not equal to zero now now we will calculate the same parameters the same circuit but now we have a current as it is so now we will see what are the advantage or disadvantage we get here okay so i am telling you we will get the advantage only so now we have the current okay so first thing we need to calculate what is the first thing we will calculate differential gain so that we will do in next page only so there is a mismatch this time so the analysis will be a, com a bit complex a bit complex but we will solve it intuitively so now this will be open circuit okay so again if this is i1 and this is i2 so what we are calculating differential gain so differential gain we are calculating so basically your i1 is equals to minus i2 what you can say is that gm1 vgs1 we can call it vgs1 vgs1 and we can call this one as vgs2 right and for com for differential gain this will be your v in by 2 and this will be your minus v in by 2 now this potential you don't know right so gm1 vgs1 is equals to minus gm2 vgs2 that we can say so this is the first equation and the second equation will be v in by 2 minus vgs1 is equals to minus v in by 2 minus vgs2 so vn v1 is vgs1 minus vgs2 this is the second equation we have right so using these two equations we can calculate the value of vgs1 and vgs2 we have two variable and two equations why we are interested in calculating the value of vgs1 and vgs2 because that's how we will calculate the output right here we will calculate the output so this is your output that's why we are interested in calculating the value of vgs1 and vgs2 solving one and two what you will get your vgs1 your vgs is proportional to vgs1 is proportional to gm2 right so vgs1 you will get is gm2 upon gm1 plus gm2 into v and your vgs2 is minus gm1 upon gm1 plus gm2 into v vgs2 okay now what is your v0 differential output that is that is gm2 vgs2 minus rd right this is gm2 vgs2 minus rd that is 
minus gm2 vgs2 rd and this is gm1 vgs1 rd so basically it is gm1 vgs1 minus gm2 vgs2 rd right just the equation we are writing nothing else v not what is v not differential so for vgs1 we can put this value so it would be gm1 gm2 into v upon gm1 plus gm2 minus this will be plus as well gm2 gm1 upon gm1 plus gm2 into v in into rd just putting the values putting values from equation 3 and this is the shortest me method by that you can solve okay this is intuitive analysis only just some equations are there so that uh, we have to write in analog it's not that you will never write the equations you will write the equations okay you need to write the equations what is your differential gain now differential gain ad that is v naught d upon v in that is 2 gm1 gm2 upon gm1 plus gm2 into rd this is the differential gain you got while having tail as a current while having current source as a tail when we had voltage source as a tail what was that gain you got this one so which one is bigger obviously this one right obviously this one we need to have more and more for you pages now after 27 we will add 5 more pages So when we are having current source as a tail, we got more common more more. more differential gain then then the having voltage source as tail ad voltage source as tail it was gm1 plus gm2 by 2 into rd ad when current source as tail it was 2 gm1 gm2 2 gm1 gm2 upon gm1 plus gm2 into rd 
okay so this is one more advantage also so when there is a mismatch between the transistors you see that whenever the current whenever there is a current as a tail we will get more differential output so this is one more advantage right now we will see about common moduli now we will see common module so this we need as low as possible we need differential gain to be as high as possible because this is what we are, because that is what we are amplifying we are amplifying the input voltage so we need that as high as possible okay and we need this one as low as possible right so the same circuit will be used we can copy the same circuit of this analysis as well right but there will be some changes what are the changes you will have remove this one remove this one remove this one okay and this is vc and here we are sorry and here we are applying vcm here also we are applying vcm here also we know i1 is equals to minus i2 so gm1 vcm minus vs is equals to gm2 vcm minus vs here you can see your vs will be equals to vcm only you can see that vs is equals to vcm only or you can solve as well gm1 minus gm2 vcm is equals to gm1 minus gm2 is equals to vs so you can see that vcm is equals to vs here here your vcm is equals to vs so now you can see that what is your common what will be your <coughs> v note cm what will be your v not cm now gm not like that so now your i1 this will be replaced with look i can use different color this will be replaced with vcm only right so your i1 equals to i2 equals to 0 so your differential gain sorry your common mode gain is 0 only so what do you see here is that common mode gain current source as a tail is less than common mode gain when voltage source as a tail right a common mode gain when current source is using as a current source is being used as a tail it is lesser than the common mode gain when voltage source is used as a tail because here what we were getting gm1 minus gm not this one this one gm1 plus gm2 by 2 into rd your acm in the previous analysis voltage voltage source as a tail voltage source as as a tail it was minus gm1 plus gm2 by 2 into rd 
and your common mode gain when current source as a tail it is zero so this is again one more advantage so this is a very 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 good intervention that can be asked like why do you use current source as a tail the first thing you will see when there is no mismatch first advantage is of common mode gain but when there is mismatch that we will have the advantage of differential gain we will have the advantage of common mode gain now we will see about the common mode differential gain okay now we will see about it so the third one is common mode differential gain and you can already see what will be the common mode differential gain common mode differential gain you can already see what will be common mode differential gain because your v not 1 and v not 2 cm are zero since your v not 1 cm and v not 2 cm are zero only that means your common mode differential gain is zero only so having current source as a tail is advantage at one genius in all three parameters differential gain on three parameters when there is a mismatch there is a mismatch like both of the transistors are not perfectly matched in differential gain second common mode gain and this is common mode differential gain okay this we got i and this we got low so this we got as high as possible and this we go this we go as low as possible okay so this is what an ideal situation ideal situation is we need common mode gain and common mode differential gain to be as low as possible and we need differential gain to be as high as possible and that is what we are getting when there is a current source as a tail so this is the advantage okay now we will see a concept of half circuit so this is nothing this is just the same analysis but but an easier way of solving complex differential amplifier okay this is just simple analysis but this will just uh, reduce the efforts nothing else okay so this is a simple way of uh, solving differential amplifiers that we will see in next video okay thank you hello everyone now we will study the concept of half circuit okay so this will help us to uh, reduce the calculation of differential amplifiers okay this is just a simple method it will just reduce your calculation this is a shortcut method you can say okay so uh, some important points to note so this is the configuration now what i am doing is that i can make this as this is delta v this is r by 2 this is r by 2 this is r by 2 this is minus delta v any problem with that no i can make this as r by 2 r by 2 and this is grounded and this is delta v this is minus delta v tell me is there any problem reduce the r into two series r by 2 r by 2 and then i just replaced it this is r by 2 this is r by 2 middle one is grounded because 
if this is v delta v this is minus delta v this will be zero auto potential right just apply the superposition delta v by 2 minus delta v by 2 so it is zero so this is what i can do right and for this what i can do there is zero current so i can replace it with the short circuit right delta v delta v zero current short circuit right I think I should have made it on next page only. Now this is the current I have and I am breaking it in two current sources. So now tell me what will be the value of each current source. 2i i or i by 2, i by 3, what will be the value? Tell me. It shouldn't be wrong. i by 2 and i by 2. Right? Because if i by 2 and i by 2 are added, you will get plus i there. i there. Right? So from VDD, we are having i current. So i by 2 plus i by 2, i. So this should be uh, the configuration. Now, one important thing that we have already studied in part 1 is that if this goes high by delta v, what will happen to, to this potential? This is a common source amplifier. If gate goes high, the drain goes low by delta v right because it inverts no delta v let us assume it goes low by a delta v right now this is what common gate amp uh, this is what common drain amplifier if it goes up by delta v what happens to this one it goes up by a delta v this one inverts this doesn't inverts Again for common gate amplifier, if this goes up by delta V, this will also go up by A delta V, right? Only the common source amplifier inverts. If the gate voltage goes up, the drain voltage goes down, right? This is the property of common source amplifier, right? And for seventh one, seventh one, if I am making this is a potential A and this is potential B, so now I am breaking it into two voltage sources. Tell me what will be the voltage of each voltage source VSS by 2, 2 VSS, VSS, or whatever. It will be VSS, right? Because between A and B, we need to remain VSS voltage between a and b vss voltage is there if i had made two vss the voltage would have been two vss between a and b but i need to make vss voltage only so it will be vss only and more thing i can do is that if between a and b i have a resistance r so this is a and this is b if i am making these Two resistance. So, what will be the value of each resistance? Tell me. Two R and two R. Because two R two R parallel will will make R. And between A and B, we need to make R resistance. So, this will be used in the half circuit analysis. Okay. So that's why I have explained everything here. In the problem, I will not explain. Okay. So we can see it with the with an example. You have to make half circuit for differential gain. Please note we are making half circuit for differential gain. That means our input is V in by 2 and minus V in by 2. Okay. So we are making uh, we are making half circuit for differential gain. Okay. So first thing, first thing we will see is that if this node goes up, if this node goes up by delta V. Okay. So this node will go down by delta V because if this is positive, this is negative. If this node goes up by delta V, this go node goes down by delta V because this is negative. If this node goes up by delta V, what will happen to this node? It will go up by delta V, right? It will go up by delta V only. Common gate amplifier, sorry, common drain amplifier from source to so from gate to source, from gate to source, if it is goes up, it also goes up. If it is going up, it is going up. Now, if this is going down, this is going 
down this is going up this is this is going up this is going up this is going down this is going down so it is going up and it is going down by the same amount let us zoom both transistors are matched that i forgot to write it is going up and down by the same amount so whenever we are talking about that differential gain or differential half circuit this node will always be zero short circuit is okay because this potential will go up and down by the same amount okay now come here if this node if this node goes up this will go down right and if this because this is what gate to drain gate to drain if this goes up this goes down this goes up this goes down in the feedback topology i will use this analysis very a lot of time okay a lot of time i will use this analysis so at that time i will not explain from gate to drain if gate goes up drain goes down if if this is going down that means it is going up so at one point we have plus delta v and at the other point we have minus delta v at one point we have plus delta v and at other point we have minus delta v so we can break this r into r by 2 and r by 2 at one point we have plus delta v at other point we have minus delta v we can break this r and r into plus r by 2 and r by 2 and the lower portion can go to ground i am just giving you the reasons why we are doing it okay otherwise i could have simply told you the method to make the uh, half circuit but i am giving the logical reasoning why we make the half circuit like this okay nobody gives this reason if this node goes up this node goes up this node goes down this node goes down so this is a common uh, because this is going up and down with the same amount so this will be zero so if this node goes up this node goes down and if this node node goes down this goes up so here it is going down and it is going up that means we can do something like this For now I am making as a from for we can know we know that this is a grounded but for now I am making this as a voltage or only so here what you can see is that here we have a half, half symmetry here we have a symmetry here right we have a symmetry here so we can break the circuit into two part this node goes to ground this this node goes to ground, this node goes to ground. So whenever there is a problem of finding differential gain, we can break the circuit. First we need to make exact symmetry and then we can break it into two halves. Each node goes to ground. From where we are cutting, all these nodes node goes to ground. So final half circuit. this node goes to ground this is rd this node goes to ground here i have v in by 2 okay each node goes to ground this node also goes to ground so this is the circuit i have small signal analysis we are doing so this vdd is shorted as well okay this vdd is shorted although here vs was connected so this was this would have already been shorted but if there was current source so what we, we, we would have done that I have told you.
okay here we vs was connected so vs will be uh, when we are doing the ac analysis vs will be grounded only but if there was current source connected so what would happen that i was telling okay now so this is also rd this is rd this is minus v in by 2 this is r mode okay here we have v not 1 here we sorry here we have v not 2 here we have v not 1 and this is our v not 1 and this is our v not 2 our v output differential is v not 1 v not 2 d minus v not 1 d and v input differential is v in by 2 minus of minus v in by 2 now for finding the gain of differential pair just find the gain of only one only one half circuit that will be your overall gain okay so what is v not 1 v not 1 by v in? what is v not 1 by v in 2 this is the gain of first half circuit right this is first this is second gain of first half circuit what is that gm rd parallel with r by 2 okay minus sign will be there so now this will be your total gain sorry this will be your this will be your complete gain okay you won't say that the gain will be uh, since here it is vi by 2 so the gain will be minus gm by 2 rd parallel with r by 2 just find the gain of first half circuit just the gain here your input signal is v in by 2 you won't say your what is your input for this half circuit for this half circuit what is your input not v in it is v in by 2 so what is the gain minus gm into rd parallel with r by 2 right your input is v in by 2 considering v in by 2 as input okay so now the thing is that what will be the sign for final differential gain what will be the sign so if your input is applied at this potential and you are taking voltage from this like here plus v in by 2 applied and here you are getting plus v no v not 2 right plus is applied here and you are getting plus here so your output will be positive if you apply plus v in by 2 here and take plus v not here your output will be positive do you getting are you getting the point if i have v in by 2 here and i am taking output like this then i will have negative output okay the negative v in v i will have and if I am taking the opposite from this end to opposite end, if here I have plus, here I am calculating plus. So then we will have positive output. Okay. So the gain for differential pair. the gain for differential pair the comma the differential gain
that would be ad that would be v naught d upon v in that would be gm rd parallel r by 2 the region of sign you have understood right v naught from here and i just take this circuit and so here your v naught d upon v in that would have minus sign because you are collecting output in this manner so that would have minus gm rd parallel with r by 2 okay so now everything now everything is clear okay let us move to the same circuit but now we will calculate common mode gain so for common mode gain what will happen again what you can see here is that for common mode gain if this goes up by delta v so this will also go up by delta v right because both are common now if this goes up by delta v so what will happen to this one it will go down by delta v if this goes up by delta v this goes down by delta v so here i have a resistance where both of the potential are going down so what will happen i can open circuit this one right i should rather make it like this r by 2 r by 2 delta v delta v so i should make it like this r by 2 open circuit r by 2 open circuit this is delta v r by 2 r by 2 this is delta v i should move this one a bit lower understood no current so i can break it like this right so here the same case is happening both are going down so i can break it like this so if this goes up and this goes up this also goes up if this goes up this goes up and because of this it also goes up so you can't really make this one as grounded right this was vss so you can't really make it grounded but if both of the nodes are going high you can again like let us assume here we had a resistance and both of the nodes are going high what you would do you would again show yourself with this so what we will do that let's see let's make the half circuit now so what we are doing is that this is rd not not half circuit we are making we are just doing like this this is vgd this is r by 2 this is r by 2 this is vcm this is rd this is vdd this is also vcm what i can do is that i can make one voltage source here and one voltage source here this is also vss this is also vss if this node is going high if this node is going up this node is going high and this node is also going high so both nodes are going high so i can simply open circuit this one right 
this is r by 2 and this is r by 2 i have a symmetry in between i have one symmetry okay I have a symmetry in between this node is going up this node is also going up this node is also going up so I can simply open circuit this one so the half circuit I will be final half circuit this is open ended so it's of no use actually here we are calculating v not 1 again here this is vss this is vcm this is rd this is vtd this is r by 2 this is open ended that's of no use this is v not 2 okay so that's the final half circuit now i can in the previous analysis what did we do that's the final half circuit now we can replace these as short circuit as well right so this will be shorted this will also be shorted i will make both of them short circuited this is shorted this is shorted so both of them both of them are short circuited so again gain for half circuit one gain for half circuit 1 what is output for half circuit 1 v not 1 what is input vcm what is the gain minus gmrd that's the total gain that's it minus gmrd is the total gain okay so common mode gain of differential pair common mode gain of differential pair is v not v not cm by vcm that is minus gmrd whenever you make half circuit just find the gain of one stage find the gain of one stage that would be enough okay the gain of one stage will be the gain of differential pair be it common mode or be it differential signal but the strategy to make but the strategy to make uh, half circuit for common mode gain and to make half circuit for differential gain both are different right in case of differential gain we find the symmetry we find the symmetry but the cutting point we replace with the short circuit right so here we replaced it with short circuit and here also what i could have done is that instead of instead of this here I should have made it like this only because we are finding the symmetry here as well. I should have written VSS, right? 
because we are finding the symmetry right so this is what we do and for half circuit for common mode gain we again do the same thing we find the symmetry but we replace the cutting point with open circuit replace the cutting point with open circuit Replace cutting with cutting point for differential gain. Replace cutting point with short circuit. And for common mode gain, sorry, for yeah, common mode gain, replace cutting point with what is the reason that I have already shown with. Open circuit here, short circuit here, open circuit. So, this is the concept of half circuit. Okay, now by using this concept, you can solve this question. You have to find common mode gain and differential gain for the following configuration use half circuit, use half circuit. Now, you have to use half circuit. Okay. We just find the gain okay so we will do that or we should do it in next video okay in next video we'll... yeah so we need to find the gain for this one so first we will talk about common mode gain first we will talk about not common mode gain difference differential gain what we will do we will find the symmetry right so finding the symmetry this one here i had iss so this would be replaced by iss by 2 and it has 2 a resistance and this will be replaced with iss by 2 it will also have two r resistance right because two r parallel with two r will make r two r parallel with two r will make r iss by two plus iss by two will make iss now here we have the symmetry right so half circuit so the half circuit we will get is common mode gain we are getting so v in by 2 i need to apply but that's of no use right now this will be this point this cutting point will go to ground so this point is going to ground. okay this cutting point is going to ground this cutting point is going to ground this is rd this VDD will be shorted. I am collecting V note one here. But your differential gain I can directly write now. Differential gain. Differential gain will be equals to half circuit of the first stage, right? Or second stage as well. Okay. Half circuit uh, differential gain will be will be equals to the gain of half circuit. So differential gain will be that will be minus gm rd not minus sign minus sign will not be there because here i have v in by 2 and i am collecting output here so it will be plus sign only this will be your differential gain right now talking about common mode gain So common mode gain this exact configuration i can pick 
right but this will be open circuited and this will also be open circuited just look it carefully i will explain one point here this is half circuit this will be open circuit this will be open circuit i am making the half circuit here this is rd this is grounded this is v in by 2 okay now this will go to this will be open circuited and this is iss by 2 this will be open this current will also be open circuited so here it will be replaced with r by 2 only right 2r only sorry 2r only and here i will have v not 1 Did you get it? Two R two R. This is open circuited. This is open circuited here. Open circuited here. Okay, open circuited. But this I S S by two is also a DC source. So DC source will also be open circuited. So that is also gone. So only two R is left. Now, what will be the common mode gain? Did I forget anything here? This will be shorted only. So this will not come in action. Yeah. This two R two R. This will be shorted only. So this will not come in action. What will be common mode gain? Common mode gain for complete differential amplifier. It would be common mode gain ACM. It would be GM RD upon one plus GM two R. Okay. Right. And also minus sign will be there that I forgot. Okay. While calculating the common mode gain, you don't need to think about sign. Whatever sign you are getting for half circuit, that sign will be there only. But in case of differential gain, you just write the gain. But for sign, you just need to see here. I have applied V in by two, so and here I am correcting V not one, so exact opposite. So plus sign will be there. But here, if you are Y V in by two, this is V C M, not V in by two. This is V C M. Right, at both of them we have VCM. Whatever the sign you are, you are getting, that sign would be there only. Okay, so how do I write the gain? That is common source amplifier with degeneration. Common source amplifier with degeneration, degeneration of two R resistance. That is GM RD upon one plus GM into two R. So that's how I wrote the gain. So this is the common mode gain. I just wrote the gain for half circuit. That is the gain. That is the final gain. Right. yeah so the next next topic will be cmrr so what is basically cmrr i will explain here only so what is cmrr cmrr is the ability of rejecting ability of rejecting common mode input common mode input okay this is what cmrr is ability of rejecting common mode input okay so what is the formula many people write it as ad by ac differential output differential gain upon common mode gain but the real formula is differential gain upon common mode differential gain okay not differential gain upon common mode differential gain many people write it as differential gain upon common mode gain but that's not correct differential gain upon common mode differential gain that is the correct formula of cmrr okay so let us assume if this is zero then cmrr is infinity right if this is zero cmrr will be infinity so it has a great ability of rejecting common mode differential gain that means noise will not be there cmrr more cmrr that means less sensitive to noise less sensitive to noise okay 
so this is the definition and if we have and we will have some questions on this in open okay so there we will see more okay in open we will see more for now just uh, remember the formula like remember the formula and the concept like what is cmr ability of rejecting common mode input that is cmr only okay so now we will move on to the large signal analysis of differential amplifiers and after that we will just see single ended output of from differential amplifier how we will get single ended output we are getting double ended output till now now we will get single ended output that we will see okay after that it will be completed so let's see the large signal analysis of differential amplifier in the next video okay thank you Hello everyone, now we will see the large signal analysis of differential amplifier. Okay. Yeah, so this is not mainly asked in the interview. Okay, they don't ask it too often, but we will just draw some characteristics and learn something new. Okay, so we will not uh, draw the uh, complete, we will not write the equations and uh, anything like that. Okay, we will just draw the characteristics. Okay. And this is last signal analysis, that means DC analysis. Last signal analysis over DC analysis. DC analysis. Okay. This is the DC analysis. Let us assume this is this here we have ID1 current and here we have ID2 current. This is V in 1, this is V in 2. When first thing to note is I s s is equals to id1 plus id2 second thing is when v in 1 is greater than v in 2 that means your id1 is greater than id2 third thing when v in 2 is greater than v in 1 that means your ID2 is greater than ID1. Right? This is the third thing. Fourth thing. When this we are calling as M1, this we are calling as M2. When M1 is off, when M1 is off, that means your ID2 is equal to ISS. When M1 is off, there is no current flowing through it, so ID2 is equal to ISS. When M2 is off, your ID1 is equal to ISS. Right? Here, more important thing you can write is what is VX? VX is VDD minus id1 into rd what is vy that is vdd minus id2 into rd right now what we will do we will plot vx minus vy versus v in 1 minus v in 2 okay this is what we are going to plot and along with all that we can write one more point when v in 1 is equals to v in 2 that means your id1 is equals to id2 that means your vx is equals to vy right now we are going to plot curves Vx minus Vy, V in 1 minus V in 2. Let us assume that your V in 1 is so high, your V in 1, this is so high that like at this point, at this point, V in, let us assume at this point, V in 1 minus V in 2 is positive, that means your V in 1 is higher than V in 2, that means your V in 2 is very low. If V in 2 is very low, that means this transistor is O. 
if this transistor is off that means your v uh, your uh, i i id1 is equals to iss right when m2 is off id1 is equals to iss right so your vx would be equals to vdd minus iss rd Here well, I will mention this one. When M2 is of ID2 is equal to 0, that means this current is 0, that means VY is equal to VDD. VY is equal to VDD. First point, second point, ID1 is equal to ISS that means your vx will be equals to vx vdd minus id1 rd vdd minus id1 rd what is id1 id1 is iss into rd so what will be vx minus vy vx minus vy would be minus iss into rd right so we are assuming that not on this point we are assuming here only your M2 goes off. Here only your M2 goes off. Okay. Here your M2 O. If M2 is O, your Vx minus Vy is ISS into RD. Similarly, at this point we can see at this point V in 1 minus V in 2 will be negative. That means V in is very low. If V in is very low, if V in is very low, that means your M1 is off. Right? That means here your M1 is off. If M1 is off, what will be the value? If M1 is off, if this is off, VY would be VDD minus VDD minus IS into RD. Right? So M2 we have right here when M1 is O. First thing, ID1 will be 0, that means your Vx will be equals to VDD. Second, ID2 will be ISS. So your Vy would be VDD minus ISS into RD. So what will be your Vx minus Vy? What will be your Vx minus Vy? Vx minus Vy, it would be ISS into RD. And it be in between the curve goes like this. Now it will take me two months to draw this. Or more than two months, I guess. I have to pause the video. Okay, so that looks fine. Yeah, so this is how the curve goes. Okay. This is how the curve goes. And at this point, V in 1 is equal to V in 2. That means ID1 is equal to ID2. Okay. When V in 1 is equal to V in 2, that means ID1 is equal to ID2. So this drop and this drop will be the same. So Vx minus Vy will be 0. Here, ID1 is equal to ID2. So that means Vx minus Vy will be 2. Also, Vx is equal to V1. So this is the curve Vx minus Vy versus V in 1 minus V in 2. So an interviewer can ask you to draw this curve. Okay. Now we will draw one more curve. That will be so this curve will be ID versus V in 1 minus V in 2. No space.
yeah so if here if v is very high so there will be a point where there will be a point where what will happen m2 will go o if m2 will go o at that point id1 will be equals to at that point id1 will be equals to iss when m1 no, sorry m2 is off when m2 is off when m2 is off id1 is equals to iss and id2 is zero so at this point we will have two curves the other one should be connected in this one It won't look good. Red, I can choose. This is what ID one that is equals to ISS, and this is what ID two that is equals to zero, right? And similarly, if you go here, okay. Here, what will happen? Here, there will be a point at which M1 will be off, right? When M1 will be off, here M1 will be off. So at that point, your ID two will be ISS. When M one is O, your ID two is equals to ISS, and your ID one is zero. And what about? this one this is id1 that is equals to 0 id1 is equals to 0 and in between the curve goes like this great mm -hmm. and this is this the same level this is the same level only okay okay so at this point v in 1 is equals to v in 2 and okay okay i made a mistake what mistake did i make i needed to make it with the red pen Right, this is the common point. So, at this common point, ID one is equals to ID two, and V in one is equals to V in two. So, this is the curve of ID versus V in one minus V in two. So these are the DC characteristics that they can ask you. Okay. What else they can ask in this one? This there is one more thing that you can see it here is that I will not give the complete explanation here because that is not that important. It will take me around 20 more minutes it is not that important just one more thing one thing if what if the current is doubled the tail current that we are having this is doubled what will happen to this character six if the tail current is doubled 
this point will go here right iss minus rd this point will go here because it will be minus 2 iss rd and this point will go here 2 iss rd right the the thing is this point will also shift this point will also shift why so you can calculate the point at which m2 goes off m2 goes off at, at let us assume this is vgs2 so let us vgs2 is equals to vt at that point your m2 goes off okay so just try to calculate in the terms of v in 1 minus v in 2 the value of v in 1 minus v in 2 at which m2 goes off okay so you can get this point and that value will be dependent on current root of current that will that value will be dependent on root of current that will come around i guess root 2 id upon mu n c o x w y l as far as i remember root 2 iss upon mu n c o x w y l that current will look something like that so if the current is double this point will shift and this point will go more down so basically this point will shift and here we will have some line this point will shift and here we will have some line okay here we will have this line okay now what happens is that now we have to join them we, we will make a characteristic like this now what is happening is that graph is becoming more more linear right this point is shifted v in 1 minus v in 2 this point is shifted v in 1 minus v in 2 here here so if we join them the graph is becoming more linear so you can just remember it if we increase the tail current the linearity increases and this is what is desirable we need more linear amplifiers right based on the application we can't really say this is uh, this is the desired one we can't really say linearity is desired based on the application it will uh, it will be desired okay so just a note i am writing complete explanation i have given you you can do it on your own if you can't find you you can just go to rajavi's lecture there will be um, there will be one video uh, about it okay just uh, no one will ask you if they again ask you you can also explain now the v in 1 minus v in 2 point will shift and also the current will increase so the linearity increases so when tail current increases the linearity of which curve of curve which curve vx minus vy versus v in 1 minus v in 2 vx minus vy versus v in 1 minus v in 2 increases okay that's it now in the next video we will see how you will get a single ended output from differential amplifier okay we can see the analysis in the next video okay thank you hello everyone now we will see how to get a single ended output from differential amplifier so i have made a configuration in front of you now you will see why have i made this configuration now you will say why have i have made this configuration instead of this i can do this i can use the simple common source amplifier that we studied sorry simple differential amplifier that we studied and just get the output from one node simple differential amplifier that we have studied and get, just get the output of one node just drop this node drop this node what is the output here in the output what is the output here that is gm rd parallel with rl actually because from here you can see rd parallel with rl this will be shorted into v in by 2 so this voltage is the gain is gm rd parallel with rl by 2 actually your desired input signal is v in. your gain here is what is being fed to output so what is being fed to further circuit 
दैट इज जी एम आर डी पैरल विद आर एल वी आई बाई टू दैट इज बींग फैट टू दर्दर सर्किट राइट नाउ इन दिस इन दिस वन वॉट विल बी यूज in this one what will be fed to the further circuit that we will see in this configuration if we use differential amplifier if we use differential amplifier with current mirror load so now what will happen this is the circuit we have just do the ac analysis this will be open circuited this will be grounded okay this will also be grounded right so what will be the current here gm vi by 2 now sorry this was open circuited now why i made this grounded though i am right it will be grounded why it will be grounded if this goes up this goes up this goes up this goes down this goes down if this goes up this goes down because this is vi by 2 this is minus vi by 2 so this goes up and down also so that we have already seen this is this act as a ac short or you can simply apply a vs voltage here and just write the equation gm vi by 2 minus vs is equals to gm minus vi by 2 minus vs from here you will get vs equals to 0 right simple thing This should be grounded here. I have GM VI by two. Whatever the current I have here, that same that same current will be flowing here, right? What is the current I am getting in this direction? Don't see here, okay? Just see here from this one. VGS value is minus VI by two. So the current in this direction would be GM VI by two. This is shorted here. This is shorted. This current here will be GM V by two. You can say this current is flowing here, so this current is GM V by two. So basically, here I have GM V by two current. Now both of them have same VSD value, right? This is M. This is M. Both of them have has same VSD value, right? So if they both of them have same VSD value. so the current in both of them will be same small signal current what is small signal current gm into vsg right or what we can do is that we can make these as m1 m2 no problem it will be easier to understand right so vgs for both of them them is same this is shorted and this is the common mode common voltage the source is, the gate is common and source is shorted So VSG is same for both of them. If both of, for both of them, if VSG is same, that means the current in both of them will be same because the current is GM into VSG. So the current here would be GM VI by two only. So from here we have GM VI by two current. From here we have GM VI by two current. So how much current we will have here? GM VI. What is the output we are getting? The output that we are getting is. gm rl into vi which is double of the previous stage double of previous stage so that's how we can buy it sorry that's how we can get a single ended output the idea of getting single ended output by this method is not that good what is being fed to the further circuit here gm rd 
parallel with R L into V I by two. That is being fed to the further circuit here. Or I can write it like this. V I here by two. I can write. Okay. This is being fed to the further circuit. And here, what is being fed to the further circuit? Here, G M R L into V I is fed, being fed to the further circuit. Being fed to the this phenomena so what do you think what uh, this will generate this phenomena will generate single stage open in open we have two input vi plus vi minus we have only single ended output till now we were we were standing two input and two output two input two output now we have two input single ended output so this is single stage open this is not the complete circuit, but this is how we go to the single stage open. Okay. I hope you have understood the concept. GMVI by two current here. The same current will be fine because the both are in series. So GMVI by two current will be here. Both have same VSG. In both have same VSG, that means GMVI by two, that same current will be here. GMVI by two current. Here we have GMVI by two current. Here we have GMVI by two current. That means we have here GMVI current. So the circuit that that means here we will have some buffer because of that i wrote i is equal to zero so that means this complete current will be flown through this rl resistor that means your v node will be gm rl into vi so this voltage is being fed to the further circuit that is the that this voltage is double of the previous stage this is how you fed the this is how you what do we say this is how you get single ended output from differential amplifiers okay so the topic is complete for now I, if i see some questions i will put it here okay i made the complete video in one go only so i hope you have enjoyed studying differential amplifier so we are we have completed four chapters now right cascode configurations current mirrors frequency response and differential amplifiers now we will move to a very important topic that is feedback topologies Okay, after that we will study open. Okay, thank you.